everybody. Robert Bodner, my strong neck decoy. Um, just wanted to get that cinnamon teal, a late cinnamon teal, out to you out in front of you to see how pretty those birds are right there. That's a beautiful teal. So, hey, I wanted how to rig your motion rung neck decoy. So, um, the topic is why is my decoy got a hole in it? So, everybody knows the reason for that. But right here, I've got another hole on the back of that decoy. And that's all I'm doing is I'm trying to weight that decoy when I've got winds that are pretty severe and I think my decoy is going to ride where it lead, needs a little bit more weight. Okay, so that's why you got a hole in the back of your rung neck decoy. Okay, a couple of things that we wanted to talk about that, um, let me get out of the way of the, the duck. One thing that we wanted to talk about was how to ballast your head and adjust it. So what you got is back here, if you want your head to preen more, just push that weight forward and then your decoy is going to ride further that way. So I'm going to bend that. See how that adjusted that head down? And when he comes around, he's going to be more in a preening position. Okay? If you want a more alert, just bend it back. Then you set that up, and you're going to have an upright, more alert decoy. Okay? So, uh, a couple of tips on that. Okay. Um, so that finishes up the t uh, tip of why you got a hole in your rung neck decoy. So um, thanks for watching, enjoy the footage. Um, so some bonus footage, birds that weren't shot over this are the crows. Um, wanted to kind of invite you guys to get out and shoot the crows because the crows are taken out. Each individual crow will take out about 80 of your hatchlings and your baby ducks. So get out there and take care of the, uh, some of those crows and watch this footage. Thank you.
Okay, thanks for watching. Um, just at the end of the video, there's some bonus footage on uh, crow hunting. And just uh, try to get out there and get after some of these crows that you, you know are out in the area where I hunt. Um, I've read that an individual can take out over 80 uh, hatchlings and uh, eggs during a season, during a productive uh, season in the spring. So get out there and shoot some of them and uh, hope you enjoy watching some of the footage of the crows coming down. Thank you.